Welcome to Western Mass News on ABC 40. At noon, I'm Abby Carnevale. The 4th of July travel weekend is upon us as many people leave the office to celebrate the holiday, and it's forecasted to set records as folks hit the road for those destinations. And we're going to turn things over to Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle, who's live in Springfield, with a look at how holiday travel is shaping up. Glenn? Yeah, Abby, over 60 million people are set to hit the roads. Over 5.7 million people are set to take a plane. And just shy of four and a half other people are choosing to take other forms of travel to get to where they need to go for the 4th of July. Now, that's a 5% increase in holiday travelers from this time last year. These high traffic numbers are coming off the heels of a deadly crash yesterday where state police report one person died in the accident on I-91 northbound in Springfield around 4.30 in the afternoon. The horrific looking crash causing major traffic backups in our area right as holiday travel is set to spike. Now the AAA says that the worst times to get your holiday travel started are between 2 and 7 p.m. And in terms of pain at the pump, you're actually going to see a little bit of a relief this year. AAA says that the gas prices right now for a gallon of regular is looking at about right over $3.50 a gallon. And they also expect that those numbers should decrease through the holiday weekend. Reporting live in Springfield, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News. Thank you so much, Glenn, for that live report. Now to keep in mind a traffic alert ahead of the 4th of July events across our area in preparation for Star Spangled Springfield. The police department will be detouring traffic around the area of the Memorial Bridge and Riverfront Park. Starting tonight at 11, the Memorial Bridge will be closed to all traffic, allowing for the setup of the fireworks display. Then around 7.30 p.m. tomorrow, officers will begin to close exits 5A and 5B off of I-91 South, as well as exit 5 from I-91 North. The bridge will reopen around 11 p.m. on Thursday night. 